have with us uh, Professor Lakhbir Singh, Associate Professor in DAV College Jalandhar and President Pahal Jalandhar and he is Pahal, I would like to introduce uh, about Pahal. Pahal is a, an, an NGO working in the youth development for the last 18 years. In September it completed 18 years, it was established in uh, September 1996 and he is the founder of that organization and Professor Lakhbi's NGO has raised more than 50,000, 57,000 I was uh, today interacting in the morning, 57,000 units of blood for the needy in the society and he has uh, done, his organization, his NGO has done more than 5 lakhs of tree plantation in the past years. So, uh, not only this, he has been awarded with the with the ambassador for peace title by Universal Federation for Peace US. And whatever I say about him, Mere, I will be short in five words because I have actually seen him working. He is managing four child labor schools, two child labor schools, and one crutch and one more school in Jalanda. And at the same time. He is working, he's, he has trained more than 2700 rural women on different aspects of entrepreneurship. I teach entrepreneurship in EDIC department, he practice, he is a man of the practice and he has trained many rural women on more than 2700 rural women on potato chips making, on pickles making and not only you will be surprised, detergent powder also and they have come out with their own uh, brand but it has not been registered I would suggest that IP ke andar hum usko leke aayenge dhere dhere but they, it is selling well and many rural women are earning money out of it so I see a first of all I see a philosopher in him then I see a scientist in him an engineer in him and uh, next thing jo hai wo personally hi rakhna chahunga jo unke baare mein mein suchta hu what I, what I feel about him. So uh, I request him to be with you on the session on our view of technological developmental date and indispensable need for environment entrepreneurship. Welcome sir. I am honored to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you engineer Amit Dev. Uh, you have said the big words for me. I will try to be uh, to the level of uh, uh, these words. Uh, good morning, uh, technocrats, uh, Pan India. It's a proud privilege of uh, mine in front of you as uh, I'm working in the holistic uh, development sector uh, for the last uh, 18 years, and I'm in the uh, teaching sector for the uh, last. Uh, uh, 30 years and I have seen the society at uh, different uh, uh, levels and I worked uh, uh, in the at different levels uh, uh, I have uh, worked technically uh, with the slums of uh, uh, urban uh, India uh, worked with the marginal farmers uh, uh, in the villages I have uh, worked with the illiterate uh, uh, rural women uh, in the countryside uh, or in the rural India. Uh, we often say that if uh, we want uh, to see uh, India a technocratic India a technologically advanced India we need to work for the rural masses uh, because even now in the 21st century uh, the 50 percent uh, India is in uh, villages then we, ha we have to focus uh, uh, that 50% uh, of India in the villages. And today's uh, uh, subject uh, that I am interacting with you people, uh, it is basically uh, an interaction uh, that uh, I am working in the field uh, with the masses for the technology uh, advancement, technology transfer. Uh, I remember that I remained uh, uh, monitor with the government of uh, India Council for Advancement of People's Action Rural Technology Kapart uh, for so many years. In that uh, sector, I tried to uh, promote uh, the technology transfer uh, from the uh, technologies like you 
uh, to the rural India. Then uh, these days I, I do have very good uh, collaboration uh, with uh, NABAD National Agriculture uh, and Rural Development uh, Bank for technology transfer and uh, for technical uh, education and technical development uh, of the masses, uh, particularly in the rural uh, areas of uh, Punjab. So that is why uh, we are having a subject a view of technological uh, development uh, uh, till date uh, and uh, uh, indis indispensable need for the uh, eco entrepreneurship. Uh, see uh, how we dwelled a uh, primitive man. See uh, saw a wooden log uh, coming down, rolling. And then the idea of movement uh, came uh, to the vein uh, uh, of uh, uh, humans. Then see now uh, from that rolling uh, wheel, the whole world is rolling with the technology. And we have started from that wheel. And uh, now we have virtualization, a virtual world. And that is possible with the help of technology. Uh, that is why I am in front of you uh, because of technology that uh, uh, in this uh, uh, city beautiful Chandigarh through NITTR, uh, I am uh, addressing Pan India uh, with all you, uh, the pointers uh, of uh, technology, education, the education of uh, technology. Uh, so what we gain, yeah, I can say that I am here in front of you only because of uh, advancement of medical technology. Dear friends, I am here uh, having uh, a bone marrow uh, transplant. Uh, this is the uh, most uh, updated advancements of medical uh, technology uh, for the treatment uh, of certain diseases. And uh, uh, I am talking and I am on the verge of second uh, bone marrow transplant. Again, the technology and the life are both uh, all going parallel. So uh, we talk of any field that we have wonderful technology and uh, we uh, started from a steam engine. Now we have locomotive and all types of uh, transportation and uh, we have started uh, from a steam chip. Uh, now we have this uh, uh, cover distance uh, uh, of thousand and thousand kilometers by flying and uh, overseas we are uh, flying having breaks in the way now we have direct flights to anywhere from the one corner to the other corner of the world and uh, at any moment uh, of time uh, uh, any situation uh, uh, any place we are able to communicate uh, and transform uh, the ideas, the technology, the information um, because of technology. The technology has done wonders today. And uh, uh, it is all technology that uh, we are seeing uh, uh, the village, now it's a global village. It is only the technology that turned the globe to a global village. As the village, uh, the reach of every person to uh, the other person by a, a length of a arm. Now, because of the uh, technology and virtual world, we have the reach uh, with the masses all over the world with the any at any person at any continent like uh, a village that is why we call it a global village that in the global village uh, technology can do wonder if in wise hands the, no doubt uh, that technology has done miracles and technology has made our life uh, uh, very easy and uh, uh, convenient but on the other way Technology has posed a big questions in front of us whether we are using uh, all the technology uh, for a positive purpose uh, with a wise vision or we are uh, uh, having this uh, technology only uh, to uh, communicate uh, very small things. So this is the question to be discussed in the uh, coming time. But uh, it is sure that from 
uh, rolling wheel to a rolling world. We have uh, uh, traveled a big uh, distance, but now we need to rethink uh, how to use the technology for uh, green development, for ecopreneurship, for the sustainable development uh, and uh, innovate, uh, inno uh, innovative development uh, on this earth uh, for the uh, 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 prevention of uh, uh, big gaps in life and the resources and create, uh, creating the big uh, questions we need to think on all these uh, uh, points uh, for the uh, entrepreneurship and particular uh, in the field of ecopreneurship. Now, uh, I think, I see that ecopreneurship is one of the largest sector uh, in which uh, we can involve uh, our uh, youth, uh, our masses, our uh, patients, uh, farmers, uh, and we need to focus on ecopreneurship uh, uh, these days now. Uh, see the uh, graph of uh, uh, development uh, of uh, this world uh, during Christian era. Uh, there are certain uh, uh, relations, that, uh, the, the deep and poor relations with the population, uh, the consumers uh, uh, on the earth consuming the uh, natural sources uh, and the uh, available resources. Of In the uh, Christian era, there was population uh, around uh, 20 crores on the world. The base of uh, ecology, uh, the plants, uh, the green cover the forest, uh, that was around 62 percent, it's an estimation. Then today, uh, the population from uh, 20 crores uh, increased to 700 crores, the 7 billions. Uh, in October 2013, uh, we tested 700 crores, the 7 billion point and uh, uh, rest uh, years we are uh, increasing the population every minute of this uh, world. And that time the forest cover was around 40%. Uh, and this is the scene of the globe and whole of the earth. Let us see uh, uh, the India, the great India, incredible India, uh, the population was around seven uh, crores at that time and forest cover was around uh, 50 percent and uh, uh, now it is around 130, 130 crores plus and in India the forest cover and green cover is 18 to uh, 20 percent and for a balanced ecosystem and, uh, and for a uh, healthy well-being of uh, all types of life, flora, fauna, and human life, we need a 33% uh, forest cover. And this comes uh, under ecopreneurship. If we go for increasing uh, uh, this size of forest, it needs millions youth to get involved in uh, as ecopreneurs. Uh, to uh, uh, to increase the green cover, they they want to increase only green cover. They will uh, have a sustainable life. Uh, they will uh, increase the life sources, and there will be chances of healthy life uh, life uh, without uh, diseases in uh, India. Uh, what what uh, are the ch challenges? Uh, uh, if the uh, different uh, concepts and different sectors have not traveled parallel, uh, as I see, the what is required when the population was around 20 crores and now it is 700 crores of the world and from the 7 crores of India, now it is 130 crores and what was the requirement that every generation should have increased wisdom multiple times and why because the resources are limited and consumers are increasing and the same time we are having uh, a different type of uh, technologies 
and again technology is one uh, side uh, that is helping and other side creating big questions whether uh, we are having a eco friendly or green technology this is a question so uh, it was required that uh, our generation should have grown wise wiser wisest uh, but it uh, could not uh, happen that uh, uh, today fortunately we do have big chunk of uh, youth in india uh, even uh, indian youth policy says that uh, 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 india is one of the uh, biggest uh, number of youth having and every developed nation uh, uh, watching toward india for its its youth power so it has created uh, big uh, challenges in front of our, us uh, we all talk of uh, Uh, greenhouse uh, gases emissions and we talk of climate change and we talk of changes in health conditions uh, what 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 uh, changed because of uh, ghg because of climate change and uh, the certain temperature of earth has been uh, increased and because of increase of temperature and uh, ill effect of uh, uh, unwise uh, uh, developments uh, the uh, the explosion of population the lack of uh, uh, proper uh, education and training the health changes happen and uh, very serious threats uh, uh, came in front of uh, health uh, today uh, the cancer only in uh, uh 2010 i have uh, gone through a report uh, from one of the prominent uh, uh, medical journal of india that only uh, around 5 lakh 55000 people died only of uh, cancer then uh, uh, what about hiv aids then what what about uh, cardiac arrest uh, then uh, what about uh, uh other uh, lifestyle uh, diseases that we have created because of uh, uh, misuse and uh, unwise use of uh, technology so we need to rethink uh, and we need to concentrate on ecopreneurship so that uh, on one way we may increase uh, uh, the uh, forest cover and uh, the natural sources on other way we can create uh, entrepreneurship uh, through ecopreneurship uh, this is required uh, to uh, fight the challenges in front of society in front of uh, uh, so health of the society in uh, uh, front of health of mankind with the help of uh, technology today then uh, what is the need of our as i said the inter peership uh, kyun why because we need to employ the large chunk of youth uh, between the age 15 to uh, 29 the most productive most energetic most uh, enthusiastic uh, age and why we want to employ uh, to uh, prevent uh, the drug addiction to save our youth from drug addiction drug trade the idleness uh, I, i i see if we are able to reduce even 15% uh, of uh, idle time of youth we can have millions and millions of productive arts and, and and we can uh, uh, bring the youth to the main stream of the uh, country so we need to employ all uh, uh, man power for earning livelihood through positive means only to constructive means only for that uh, we need need the holistic uh, development uh, uh, of the youth the development uh, Uh, of uh, health in all uh, uh, in all uh, aspects then development uh, and uh, education and training uh, of all types uh, then development of uh, life skills with the youth then we can employ them for the livelihood in a constructive manner then uh, entrepreneurship uh, uh, required uh, basically in uh, three sectors 
and these three sectors are the pillars uh, of uh, society of a person of earth that is uh, health the foremost uh, requirement uh, to say a healthy nation uh, can give a healthy future and uh, we can uh, have uh, uh, even a, a super position in the world uh, with the, our youth and uh, with the uh, good health of uh, india then uh, for health we need education and uh, uh, training the education not only uh, the degree oriented education but the education which is uh, uh, empowering uh, our uh, uh, kids uh, our youth uh, our technocrats uh, uh, with the ethics uh, ethics the morals the values and uh, connecting them to the heritage of uh, india and of the local sites also and we need to train our youth in uh, technology that is uh, safer that is green that is eco friendly and uh, uh, while giving education and training we can empower youth in uh, these sectors then environment uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, sector of uh, uh, today and most uh, prior sector to be taken care of because uh, without uh, a certain level of uh, environment uh, Uh, we are not uh, able to live a healthy life we need to maintain uh, ecology we need to maintain environment uh, by all means for uh, uh, the longevity of the life uh, on this uh, earth so i think these uh, uh, sectors the health the education and training and the environment these are the prior sectors and these are the sectors basically we can uh, uh, call the uh, sectors related to eco entrepreneurship if uh, while working uh, on uh, these sector we take care of uh, our uh, environment uh, and of our health uh, and uh, of ethical and technical development of uh, our uh, uh, youth we can uh, see a uh, incredible india the great india after training youth otherwise uh, uh, it won't be possible to uh, use the youth energy that is enormous that is endless uh, with us it's the only india that uh, you see all uh, uh, the the large number of population bubbling uh, with the life the fountains of life but uh, you can't find these things in china these thing in uh, japan uh, uh, western countries that they are lacking youth they need youth if we uh, we train our youth in eco entrepreneurship and our youth can uh, go abroad with uh, uh, big missions and uh, they can have more value of their uh, technical education as well as of their ethical uh, development so uh, let us think uh, uh, what 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 is uh, required from where to start uh, the eco uh, perspective uh, see the smallest uh, unit uh, of our society is uh, a village uh, long back uh, as i see and uh, i read uh, in different uh, uh, historical uh, uh, documents uh, i see that village was a self reliant uh, self uh, uh, sustainable village uh, uh, i i was listening from my grandparents uh, that only a salt was required in a village everything was available in the village so you need nothing in the village uh, everything is there only salt is required for the livelihood of or the uh, going on of uh, life and of the uh, everything in the village but is it uh, now uh, do we have uh, uh, villages like that today that uh, uh, our villages early villages they are self reliant 
self sustainable uh, everything health was there longevity was there you can find uh, old age people in in good health in large number the uh, very good water even uh, today uh, we are drinking water produced uh, refined uh, purified by the modern technology uh, this was not available at uh, that time um, i used to uh, drink water from the nearby river uh, i'm living near bias river and we used to drink that water without uh, any purification because all water was pure what was uh, elixir of uh, uh, life not uh, today and uh, anything any fruit any crop uh, uh, any vegetable any raw leaf you can have you can eat at that time without uh, any doubt but what is now what is the condition of village today it is uh, all in dark today uh, the 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 farmer they do not uh, know the harmful effects of pesticides produced by modern technology and uh, uh, chemical interventions they do not know how harmful uh, even the molecule of a pesticide of a weedicide of a fungicide uh, they are using uh, uh, they are having indiscriminate uh, use uh, in all the uh, crops uh, in all the fruits uh, uh, they are having but now an educated uh, person who knows a little about these things they are afraid of they are scared of uh, while eating anything raw uh, in the field uh, uh, most of the time we discuss uh, that we should go for raw diet or uh, raw food but on the same time there is a question whether it is uh, uh, wise to uh, take all raw because there is indiscriminate uh, uh, use of uh, uh the pesticides of the weedicide so uh, the uh, today's village as we see the basic uh, unit uh, of the society even today uh, the india is made of uh, villages if we want uh, to see a technologically advanced technologically reliant socially sustainably developed india then we have to concentrate uh, the villages uh, uh, that is in dark uh, in uh, most uh, of the aspects uh, we need to concentrate village particularly in uh, eco entrepreneurship because uh, the true success we can see from the village because village is a limited uh, uh, unit uh, of the society it is uh, approachable it is uh, reportable and uh, it is visible to all and we can uh, concentrate the village which is in darkness but uh, with the advancement of uh, technology and with the wise use of eco entrepreneurship we can again uh, make uh, a village uh, uh, really uh, reliant and self self uh, uh, sustainable <clears throat> the the reason for this uh, like is uh, what uh, happened that uh, we uh, went to that uh, uh, stage uh, of the village where uh, we often say that uh, uh, most of the villages uh, they are drug addicts they ha they are having ill health because uh, lack of uh, use of technology in proper way so every uh, person has a gadget a small gadget iphone or uh, android or any type of modern phone and they do have computer at their home they do have a telephone connection they who do have electricity they have so many gadgets uh, in their kitchen it is to be seen whether it is being used uh, Uh, in a proper way this is the question if we answer this question the right use of uh, technology the use of technology in a green way the usual use of technology for the development for the creation of uh, uh, eco entrepreneurship uh, we can again uh, uh, turn the village 
to fortunate and uh, we can uh, create such kind of concept that uh, urbanite uh, people uh, uh, they should keep on thinking that uh, they should spend uh, their uh, retired uh, life uh, in the villages and for that we need to concentrate the village to change the scenario uh, of a village to a beautiful one, to a sustainable one, to an eco-friendly one, to environmentally better, to aesthetically, uh, to see the village uh, aesthetically uh, much better. So uh, the life of village, we can make uh, a very aesthetic, very beautiful and lucrative uh, and uh, uh, that uh, uh, will be uh, sustainable also, eco-friendly also and this we can do uh, through eco uh, What uh, happened as I started my uh, dialogue from the rolling wheel to the rolling world, uh, uh, there was a techno information that has been used. Uh, that has been uh, went to knowledge, uh, wisdom and sustainable development. Uh, in all sectors of the world we are talking of sustainable development. Uh, we are talking of integrity, we are talking of global village, we are talking of innovation. But every day what, what is happening around? Uh, we can't uh, check uh, the melting of uh, glaciers. We can't uh, stop uh, the rising of uh, sea levels. We are not able to save the islands being drowned because of uh, rising of the sea levels. We are not able to check the uh, increase, uh, increasing rate uh, uh, of threatening diseases that may be hypertension, that may be cancer, uh, that may be drug addiction, the disease related to drug addiction, everything is increasing because uh, we are giving slogan of uh, uh, sustainable uh, development. Uh, we, we are discussing the things in the studios uh, like uh, this, uh, the big seminars, the big reports uh, uh, are being generated but at the grassroots level. Whether a man is a symbol of the universe in himself, whether being empowered by this all hierarchy or this is all jargon of words not empowering at grassroots level. Uh, if we are able uh, to change the screen at grassroots at the village level to the masses, uh, they are living there having a large number of uh, farming land, uh, a grassland, uh, a forest, uh, a, a green cover. If they are being empowered with the uh, technology of such kind that they can use that technology to grow plants and they can use that technology to grow vegetable in an organic uh, manner. They can use that technology to save the soil uh, of India for the future and uh, uh, if they are able to have the knowledge and to convert uh, that knowledge to the wisdom and then we can see the sustainable development all in uh, uh, practical uh, uh, shape, all uh, uh, in, in not only virtually but actually that uh, a person should have in the concentration, a head should have in the concentration how we can change a person at grassroots level in the village, in the family who, uh, who is going to be uh, a breadwinner uh, for the assembly. Uh, for the family or for the society or uh, for the future. Uh, we need to concentrate uh, uh, this, but it uh, could not uh, happen. Therefore, uh, there is need to rethink. Uh, and I think this is the good uh, platform uh, Pan India 
to rethink when government of india is very keen uh, uh, for the uh, spreading of technical education for the provision of technical education uh, they are going to open large number of uh, itis uh, uh, polytechnic uh, technical uh, colleges and uh, if if we uh, see the development of education uh, for the last one and uh, half uh, decade the large number of technical colleges came up uh, but we need to rethink whether uh, all the technical colleges uh, they are providing uh, education in such a way that uh, they are uh, succeeding in developing uh, the youth uh, or the persons with holistic uh, vision or they are providing only with the degrees. If uh, they are being provided only degrees, uh, then uh, youth will uh, uh, roam from uh, pillar to pillar for the employment. They will go to a big uh, corporates uh, uh, for certain level of packages. But uh, if uh, uh, the technical colleges are able uh, uh, to develop, uh, to educate, the, uh, to train the youth in a holistic manner, on one side uh, they are developing their person uh, ethically, they are developing uh, their person in skill and the same time they are developing their person uh, uh, in uh, 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 profession also then they can be ecopreneurs so initiation in uh, domain of uh, ecopreneurship is one of the uh, mega challenge uh, before of us on uh, other way i can say that uh, it is a big scope uh, uh, for uh, India uh, and uh, for the youth to go for the entrepreneurship at, ho at home. Uh, no need to go to big corporates for employment. The people do have employment, uh, they do have entrepreneurship uh, uh, at their home, at their village. But what, what is the need? Need is to rethink, need is to concentrate and need is to train the resources at doorstep. Uh, we need to train the people with the technology of different types uh, related to environment only. The one thing that we should have the technology at large uh, level in all sectors that is eco-friendly. That is the other thing. The, the thing I am concentrating here that we should have the technology with on once it is providing uh, entrepreneurship and other it is enhancing our environment also it is concentrating the uh, uh, the levels of uh, environment uh, for sustainable uh, development of life it, it is it is directly affecting the uh, greenhouse effect to reduce that uh, uh, it is reducing the carbon emissions and it is uh, uh, increasing the uh, green levels the percentage of oxygen in the environment so that cooling effects uh, should go uh, to the environment um, uh, it will uh, uh, it will serve the purpose in a multi purpose that we can uh, increase uh, uh, entrepreneurship to eco uh, sector and uh, we can do the needful that uh, we have lost uh, in the centuries as mentioned uh, before uh, uh, we need uh, to concentrate by all means uh, we, we uh, need not to wait uh, till the last uh, fish of our pond may die. We need to nurture the fishes and we need to save for the future today. And that we can do with the wise use of uh, technology that may be I ICT information communication technology um, that may be a small gadget mobile. It can do wonders if it is in uh, wise hands. If uh, it is uh, being used unwise and it is uh, totally destroying the time uh, of the youth uh, in very generative uh, uh, progressive years of uh, education in degree college as well as, as well as in the 
technical college technical college if we use it positively then we can uh, uh, have uh, wonderful results uh, with ICT mobile uh, computer or other networks we have created it, it need not to be used for only gang making or communication of the gangsters it need to be uh, uh, used for the communication of the farmers communications of the self-help group uh, workers as uh, mentioned uh, uh, earlier while uh, introducing myself that I do have a network of uh, around uh, uh, 3000 rural women if we use that mobile network for the communication uh, of those women uh, for certain meetings for certain programs for certain initiatives you know, for certain trainings for certain communication of uh, very good uh, informative and positive knowledge of uh, ecology of livelihood then it is the wise use of uh, uh, technology and this is the uh, use of technology for eco partnership then the, it is a big challenge before all of us that is based actually uh, if I, uh, we see deeply there is nothing waste uh, on the earth but if the word exists uh, that is why that we have converted uh, something that is not actually waste but we have made that waste by not uh, segregating by not rec recognizing that uh, part of uh, matter that we see the uh, see as waste see uh, every the city uh, with the growth of the city the few things that is not required but uh, uh, increasing all the day the big heaps uh, like mountains of uh, waste you can see uh, aside the every city if it's going to be metro then you can see the mountains uh, uh, which we say was waste but I don't say that is waste actually that is gold we need to recognize we need to find that we, we need to use that actually that is gold that is money that is rupee now, but we need to uh, rethink and uh, we need to concentrate the waste uh, uh, management uh, with the use of uh, technology uh, for eco-partnership uh, in waste management uh, uh, there is certain sectors that we need to concentrate uh, to study uh, uh, and to work on that the first one is uh, sol solid waste management while uh, 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 in uh, living while during living we produce lost of uh, 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 material that is called sol solid waste the compound uh, of uh, uh, our livestock the waste of the kitchen uh, the falling of leaves of the uh, trees the waste uh, all types of uh, waste that is need to be uh, managed and uh, now there we do have some of the models uh, in uh, India uh, that uh, uh, we can use every uh, unit uh, uh, of uh, every uh, every size of uh, waste for uh, uh, production of resources for uh, life uh, we earlier we are having uh, only uh, biogases now we have very uh, advanced uh, biogas uh, plants that we can use every type of uh, uh, solid waste uh, in the biogas power production of uh, uh, cooking gas then lot of water uh, we use that need to be recycled but we need to segregate the uh, water of uh, different uh, types the and uh, we we need to mark which type of water can be used for uh, which procedure some of the water can be used for uh, uh, irrigation of our kitchen garden some of the uh, used water can be reused uh, for our toilet uh, like uh, this we can use all type of water in different uh, uh, purposes then uh, electronic uh, uh, waste management uh, it, it is a big uh, challenge when we are having uh, 
लो क्वालिटी लो कॉस्ट गैजेट्स अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट नाउ इट्स एन एस्टिमेट दैट एवरी पर्सन इन इंडिया चेंजिंग द मोबाइल फोन विद इन सेवन मंथ and uh, the total sale of mobile phones of the uh, world is maximized in india uh, i have gone through a report that 60% uh, of the mobile sold out in the world are in india then millions of millions of mobile phones and accessories they are going to be uh, labeled as uh, electronic e waste or electronic waste it, it's only small thing but see about the computer and uh, computer hardware see about the cds and all uh, things uh, related to uh, technology and electricity not being used and that not not possible to use that is abundant now that is called e waste uh, if uh, we manage uh, electronic waste today what we can do we can uh, see a significant uh, reduction in mining as uh, the every uh, metal being used in electronics can be reused if we manage the e waste today then we are able to stop or to decrease the rate of mining we are doing at the cost of our natural uh, resources we we need to concentrate uh, at this and uh, with the e waste we can reduce the mining and for mining and processing of that matter we use lot of energy and if we manage the waste and uh, uh, we can save the energy uh, by uh, reusing or by managing the electronic uh, waste uh, when uh, we do mining we process the material uh, for electronic uh, gadgets uh, production and we uh, damage lot of environment because of uh, industry uh, and other uh, processing mechanisms and if we go for e waste when we can uh, save uh, uh, energy as well as we can save the uh, uh, invaluable environment we can't uh, purchase uh, Uh, we can't buy environment we have to pre uh, prevent the pollution we have to save the environment and by uh, managing electronic waste uh, we can uh, put some efforts uh, uh, in saving the environment then we can save the natural sources so many uh, the water being used as a cooling agent uh, and that belong basically to our future generations and we can save uh, uh, the water uh, also and other many uh, 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 things we can save which uh, uh, will help uh, us for sustainable development uh, for the life longevity and uh, for the prevention of uh, uh, many diseases that is uh, happening only because of the unmanaged uh, electronic uh, waste uh, uh, to the human life as well as to the life of flora and fauna of uh, this earth then uh, plantation and forestation uh, is one of the uh, major sector uh, of uh, eco uh, pernership and uh, in uh, uh, that sector what we need we first we need to evaluate uh, uh, to educate uh, the masses that what is the role uh, of uh, forest uh, in uh, a life in the life cycle the uh, forest and environment uh, they play a big uh, uh, role uh, for the sustainability uh, and uh, this is uh, one of the biggest uh, ecosystem also and uh, uh, having the longest uh, life on the earth you see the long longest living thing on the earth that is a tree we have uh, known about uh, a tree is having age of more than 4000 years uh, not any other living species but uh, because of uh, uh, unwise use of uh, technology or because of uh, uh, 
negligence we have lost this invaluable resource that is the root of our life as we are talking of india the forest cover is only of uh, uh, 18 to 20 percent for 20% of the uh, total uh, uh, landmass of uh, india and uh, now the every part uh, of india uh, uh, we can uh, plant trees and we can grow trees even uh, in the deserts uh, uh, of Rajasthan, it has been experienced and experimented uh, that uh, in Alwar, Alwar area there was earlier uh, deserts and lack of water. Now some people are having fisheries over there. It is, uh, it is only uh, uh, with the vision, with the holistic development, and with the the positive use of technology, they have created. Uh, 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 buns and stops uh, for the uh, water. Now, the the earlier water, they uh, uh, the rainwater uh, used to have floods in certain areas and drought uh, in that area. But when they stopped uh, water with uh, the intervention of some NGOs, with the intervention of some technocrats, uh, they stopped water over there, and uh, that area uh, turned uh, totally green in the last uh, uh, 25, 30 years. It was total desert. Now it is all uh, green, and uh, people are having the profession of fishery over there. And this is a miracle done uh, by the uh, technology only. That how they checked uh, check dam. They they have they have had the check dams uh, in front of the running water, and they changed the uh, the future of that area. Now the pe people having. Uh, good economic condition, uh, their, their livelihood has been uh, uh, procured over there and uh, most of them they are working in ecopreneur uh, in that uh, uh, part of India now. So there is a lot of scope, uh, it is only uh, remained 18 to 20 percent but we need around 33 percent, out of 33 percent we need 6 percent of wetland area, the area uh, with marshy uh, features. So, uh, uh, if I talk of uh, uh, Punjab, the land of uh, waters, the land of greenery, what is the condition now of Punjab? Uh, the, the land who is providing water to uh, the, some of the states of India, now it is uh, being projected that there will be a lack of water because uh, unwise use of the resources, indiscriminate uh, uh, use of the resources without uh, uh, thinking about uh, the future uh, of the earth uh, of the life. So what is the rate of uh, forest cover uh, in this land, the northern uh, part of uh, India, uh, that is around 4 to 6 percent. Even the government statistics or satellite surveys say that it is uh, around 7 percent, but the need is 33 percent and we have only 7 percent. Then what is required by the technical institutions or by the education institutions to provide such kind of uh, entrepreneurship uh, to a youth that they should go uh, entrepreneurs like uh, environment uh, uh, sector and environment sector plantation uh, uh, may be one of the uh, major sector that youth can be employed uh, with the vision. There is a uh, uh, thing with me that I, I think I see as uh, uh, under the banner of uh, PAHEL a non-governmental youth organization we keep on uh, uh, training youth uh, and uh, rural women for entrepreneurship uh, under uh, MEDP, uh, micro, micro entrepreneurship development programs uh, with the NABARD and autonomous uh, body of uh, government of India. We train them. We say them that they, they, they should go for uh, plantation only. What they, they may are. Now, they, the women, they are working on daily wages. But if they start uh, plantations, uh, on a rough estimate, uh, there is a scope of planting uh, uh, around 5,000 saplings uh, in a village uh, in the spread over period of 
five years. Let us see that uh, uh, in a village, some of the uh, few women or some of the youth, uh, they started planting trees in the village. In the first year, they can plant 1,000 uh, saplings, a uh, few of the aesthetical medicine and around 80% uh, of uh, uh, timber wood or firewood trees. And uh, they should keep on thinking from macro thinking to micro thinking. First year they will plant 1000. And every year they will uh, keep on uh, planting uh, around 1000 saplings. Uh, and after five years of the span, the first uh, uh, the crop of uh, 1000 uh, plants uh, will be ready out of 80 percent uh, they have planted uh, of uh, firewood or of uh, timber wood and they can uh, uh, har harvest it. I am sure that uh, from today after five uh, years the cost of one timber wood tree uh, that may be poplar or eucalyptus that uh, surely will be around 5000 rupees. See the cost of 800 uh, trees after five years around 40 lakhs and what will be the cycle that every year those group of women or those group of uh, uh, youth may be having 40 lakhs of the uh, rupees at their doorstep. I call it uh, eco uh, partnership. And one side a youth starts after plus two, they go to technical college for diploma in technical college, in technical education or B.Tech degree, bachelor's degree in technical education. Uh, and one spend around four lakhs of rupees. And second uh, boy or girl, they started planting trees having uh, integration of you of the youth. And after four years, the youth working in uh, ecopreneurship uh, were not uh, able to pay the uh, costly fees of technical college and they have started uh, with this vision in ecopreneurship. After four years, they are able to give employment uh, to some of the youth uh, in the village uh, while they have started earning around 40 lakhs uh, uh, in the group of uh, a youth uh, in a village only. Uh, our forestation sector, one uh, uh, one thing is very important. If we go uh, for the experimentation of uh, planting uh, uh, the plants which are more uh, required uh, uh, for our region, uh, there are two types, uh, two, two plants uh, uh, that need to be planted in a big way. Uh, in uh, rural India, the one is Jitrofa. Uh, the Jitrofa is called biodiesel plant uh, in other way. Uh, there is around 50% uh, uh, oil extract in uh, Jitrofa uh, seeds. If uh, we uh, uh, ensure the ecopreneurship of uh, rural women as well as of rural youth in Jitrofa, and we can create uh, uh, a large uh, amount of uh, biodiesel uh, through Jetrofa plantation. Castrol uh, uh, already being used uh, as uh, a uh, medicinal oil in our uh, chemist, uh, chemist shops, but uh, it do have uh, potential as a biodiesel. In southern India, it has been experimented that uh, castor oil can be used as biodiesel. But uh, comparatively, uh, castor oil has more oil extract uh, compar comparison to uh, Jitrofa. And if we go for plantations uh, uh, of castor oil that is weed alongside the villages, the roadside now, if we uh, have a managed uh, plantations uh, of castor oil or Jetrofa by the rural women or by the uh, youth and we can uh, go for another allied field uh, uh, also research and uh, development uh, can be done. The uh, new scene of uh, uh, energy can be created uh, through uh, these uh, uh, interventions. 
so uh, what what is uh, required now that uh, we should go for eco uh, entrepreneurship it is one of the biggest uh, uh, sector uh, of uh, uh, our uh, future and uh, while going through uh, again as we have talked of uh, waste management we should follow the three r's also uh, reduce reuse and recycle while reducing we should uh, uh, fuel uh, save fuel by carpooling by using public transport walking or cycling for the short uh, distance uh, to our schools to colleges to institution we should have the carpooling uh, uh, tradition then we should have uh, uh, we should save the electricity by switching off uh, the appliances when not in use then uh, we should use showers while taking bath instead of uh, running uh, uh, taps uh, always use a mug for brushing your teeth see when you are uh, brushing your teeth a lot of water is being uh, wasted uh, we should uh, use fountain ink pen instead of uh, uh, ball pen and uh, gel pens which is made of uh, uh, plastic use pencils uh, to write on uh, paper avoid uh, using tissue papers use uh, handkerchief when uh, going uh, out uh, we should recycle uh, the waste paper even including newspaper we should uh, uh, recycle uh, drop your old mobile phones batteries uh, chargers uh, somewhere where uh, collection center is there for electronic uh, waste and uh, use stationary items made from recycled and we should reuse make uh, rough notebooks uh, from single side uh, uh, printed sheets uh, make newspaper uh, bag bags and gift uh, to your uh, uh, friends uh, and guests uh, decorate uh, unused plastic uh, bottles to create wonderful uh, seen anywhere uh, then collect kitchen water in the uh, container use the water uh, for irrigation uh, of uh, our kitchen garden so there is lot of uh, uh, things that uh, we do have in our hand in mine uh, in in my mind or in my house uh, in my uh, capacity uh, what is uh, uh, needed uh, to rethink uh, for the eco uh, entrepreneurship that uh, may be uh, in forestation or plantation that may be processing of the forest uh, after uh, maturity and recycling of the forest uh, then waste management solid uh, waste management every type of the uh, solid of the village of the house uh, uh, should be uh, managed uh, properly segregated uh you won't find uh, uh, any waste anywhere you will find neat and clean hygienic places all over uh, uh, your uh, surrounding and then electronic waste uh, by managing or by making it a entrepreneur we can uh, uh, we can change the uh, scene of uh, uh, ours uh, uh, today but what is required Uh, that is wise use of technology and use of technology for uh, eco entrepreneurship and there are two types of eco entrepreneurship one is uh, the every type of industry the every type of uh, technology should be uh, used taking care of environment and secondly the use of technology only for environmental uh, uh, entrepreneurship the use of technology for environmental entrepreneurship is one of the big uh, sector to initiate i have done it i have seen it i have seen the result also that may be in small amount but i have seen that let us uh, join uh, hands pan india to concentrate a village for uh, green uh, india for green village and for eco uh, entrepreneurship 